What's up guys, my name is Gunner and today I'm going to teach you how to change your RGB on your computer with that if you have a gigabyte motherboard. So first we're going to head on to our good boy Google and we're going to search up RGB Fusion and you want to click on the first one or a gigabyte RGB Fusion 2.0. I'll also have the link uh, down in the description so you can go directly there. Alright, once you go down, you just want to hit download press download alrighty it will give you a zip file um, let me move my camera here Oops. zip file right there that will download on your computer alrighty so you just want to click it and inside you will find this so you want to bring it to your desktop and just place it down I already have uh, I've already done this before so I'm just gonna click uh, replace the files in the destination, but that won't show up for you if you haven't done it yet Okay, you can close this and you want to open up the folder here And you want to click on up, uh, UPD pack underscore b22.10 1102.1 depending on when you're watching this video It could be a higher version, but it doesn't really matter too much as long as you have the latest version installed and then yep you just want to click install click yes let it install all right and then once it is done which i think it is just want to search up rgb fusion click yes and it should load up please wait Alrighty, and as you can see, it already has registered all the RGB devices on my computer. So we got the RAM that you can control the RGB for, you can control the GPU's RGB, and then any any fans connected to the motherboard. So we're gonna collect the motherboard here. Okay, and as you can see, there are four uh, fans uh, that it detects, which probably inc includes the CPU cooler. Um, or actually I think there's four fans and also the CPU cooler, but either way um, There's the LEDs for them. So if you want to change the front fan, for example uh, There's a bunch of different options like you can have waves and stuff But if you just want one color you can just go over here pick the color wheel So if I want to do red I can do red All right, and then if I go to my uh, Computer here so as you can see it's green right now as soon as I hit apply it turns red and then let's say I wanted to do a different color and click it again let's do blue hit apply and it changes to blue okay and then also uh, you can also do uh, different things so you can do like a pulse cycle so it'll go through all the different RGBs you can do it more reddish hit apply and as you can see, it will, oh, that will actually pulse out, so I keep fading and coming back. Alright, and then there is also do 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 digital wave, so this will do like a little RGB wave. Yeah, and then yeah, if you want to change the RAM color, for example, similar thing. You select which RAM stick, so we'll do this, or we'll do, uh, that's interesting, that, and then we'll do blue, hit apply, and then if I check my RAM stick here, uh, oh, one part of it has turned blue, Oops, sorry, let me show you, there you can see the top part, so if I change all of them to blue, apply, or I can actually change them to different colors, so I'll change third part to green and then as you can see it slowly starts changing the colors on the art and yeah that's how you change colors on uh your computer if you have a gigabyte motherboard i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and have a great day